Now we're gonna flip up the sides of the liner and backfill and get it nice and snug and then we can start doing what we really like to do and that's build awesome stuff. It seems like every time you wanna build something awesome, you have to dig a big ugly hole. It's just kind of the start of it. But... Destruction comes before beauty. Oh man. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be putting in a bubbling rock. I got DJ, I got new guy Jackson, and we're gonna be trying to get this thing done in one day. We got a uh, cool space in here. I painted out where we're gonna be putting in the basin. I'm gonna do a little bit of boulder work and some plants in here. This is right next to a beautiful event barn. Such a cool place. They have all kinds of those Italian, uh, those, those big chunks of stone uh, that the Italian masons laid. Uh, you see bridges and stuff made out of them. They have retaining walls made out of that all over here. It's a gorgeous place. And the front of the barn is one of those uh, old, uh, the, you see the uh, mill pouch tobacco. This is Red Men, true Red Men tobacco. Beautiful painting on it. Such a cool spot. Deej is gonna uh, take the drone up here in a bit and get you a feel of where we're working. And right next to this, uh, that's the event barn in there where they have weddings and receptions, you name it in there. So we wanna get some good visual from out here and just make a nice spot for people to go to, take pictures and stuff when they're having parties here. First thing I'm gonna do is plant some boulders in here to help bring the grade up a little little bit, level this out with my excavator, and then we'll put in our basin. We got our aqua blocks all laid out there. That's for our under, underground reservoir. Yep, that's the size we're putting in. So, stay tuned. Get my excavator, fill beautiful stuff. That's what we do. Just about ready to put the uh, manifold together for our bubbling cascade feature, and I'm gonna set you guys up on video camera so you can watch. There you have it, that's how we plumb up a manifold. Basin is in, this is our pump vault. I sunk it down lower than everything else. And that houses our pump. And these are just modular aqua blocks. Our fountainscape, our bubbling rock set is going to build right on top of here. The pump is gonna pump it through lines, out the bubbling rocks. It's gonna splash everywhere, fall into these aqua blocks, back into the pump, and it's just one big cycle. So this is a catch basin for all your splash. It's also your reservoir to like, um, to hold your water. But you really wouldn't need so many gallons of water to run your bubbling rocks, but they splash so much that you need to be able to catch them. So that's why we build this big catch basin. Now we're gonna flip up the sides of the liner and backfill and get it nice and snug, and then we can start doing what we really like to do, and that's build awesome stuff. It seems like every time you wanna build something awesome, you have to dig a big ugly hole. It's just kind of the start of it, but. Destruction comes before beauty. Oh man. Alrighty. Okay, so these uh, bubbling cascades have a large boulder, a medium, and a small. And I'm standing here looking here, and if we have like one dead spot, it's about here. No one's gonna be looking at it from that angle. I want good viewing from here to here. 
So I'm gonna set that tall boulder right back here. I'm thinking of like maybe a big stump over here and the medium boulder over here and the small one in the front and then we'll build a pool in between and a waterfall is coming out this way and that way. Show them what we're looking at. We have a big parking lot up here. People are gonna see that. And there's where I, I really want a nice waterfall point that direction. They have this big deck up here and that's like the event center. So I'd like to get some visual from those windows. Can we do it, Deej? Yep. Yep, let's go look at the rocks we have. That's a cool stump. I like that stump. Okay, so here's a big tall guy. We got a whole board through here. Ah! They uh, just ran a big, um, a big hammer drill. With hammer drill, drill, bit. drill bit. I don't drill these. Tussie Mountain Mulch does the drilling for them. Yeah, I think it's a big generator unit and a massive drill and a long core drill. And I've heard it's not fun work. Like it takes a long time and it's really loud and stuff. And dusty. So I get them pre-drilled from Tussie Mountain Mulch. But this is, this is the top right here. And I don't know if we can, but it would be cool if we could get water coming off of here and hitting this. With a hammer and a chisel and a paver saw and a grinder, you can usually do what you want. But yeah, definitely this one in the back. And I'm thinking about tucking this one over towards the outhouse and then the low one towards the front so I don't hide anything. And then the stump over there. Take a good look at them here because they're going to look different here in about three minutes. Oh, try three hours. We got so many cool things happening here, I gotta show you. Here's the coolest thing ever. What are new guys good for? Absolutely something. Ah, that is some beautiful stuff. So if you need moss and you have a new guy that needs to learn how to run machinery, you tell him, go get moss in the woods. It worked out. He brought some beautiful stuff. Look at this. We might need double that, but it'll get us started. Look at that. Yeah, that's some nice stuff. That's beautiful. Look at that little fern on there. So, and then over here, got all kinds of goodness going. Not only do we have a big pool in here, but we have a waterfall in the pool. Our fourth feed is coming up in there. This will fill up to there. It'll spill out that way. It'll be a little drop into a pool here, and then it'll be another drop over here. We have all of our falls uplit, some three lights on there and on there. Got one on this one. We ran all of our plumbing. This is pretty neat. Nice and neat. Comes out of the pump, into our valve box, out of the valve box, and to each bubbling rock. There's one into there. This one is for center feed. This one is for that bubbling rock. And this one isn't plumbed yet. See, we ran our flex pipe up through there. And there's our 90, so I still need to run a hose from there over into the valve box. And then, if you really want to get fancy, you can take a Sharpie and you can label your valves. Tall bubbling rock, medium bubbling rock, small bubbling rock, and then you can adjust them to whatever makes you happy. And see what else I put under the deck. Those are all the goodies that keep the water feature looking amazing. This one is a dosing system uh, that's beneficial bacteria it's basically uh, living thingies that... <laughs> that's very descriptive. This is beneficial bacteria. It's good bacteria that's gonna help keep your water clear. It works a little bit like an IV. We have this little baggie in here full of bacteria. They're to keep your ecosystem healthy and your water clear. Underneath here, we have, that's for a pump right there, on and off, and variable speed so I can adjust how much water it's pumping. The cool thing about it is I can connect it to Wi-Fi and then I can control everything from my phone. Uh, timers, I can turn it on at eight o'clock in the evening and turn it off at midnight, whatever I want to do. There's my light, my ion, ion gen. gen, the next in row. It's a copper probe that electricity passes through and it slowly diffuses copper into the water and I, uh, string algae, it'll kill string algae. There we go. Electricity, small amounts of electricity pass through here and these will slowly dissolve into the water and make sure that you don't have string algae growing in your feature. So, no string algae, 
and crystal clear water because of the beneficial bacteria. So that's what I was doing. Wow, Deej was playing around with these rocks and I don't think, I don't know if he was working or not, but he got Oof. some stuff set. So, I don't know, another 10 minutes or so and we're gonna have water running. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The foam dries in three minutes, so. That's right. So over here we got Ben on the foam gun and he's it's gonna- It's a rare sight, isn't it? It is kind of. He's gonna give you I a few tips. I know someone tips. else who's like particularly fond of running this thing. So I have this feed coming in here in the middle, except it would never fill up and spill out over here. I need to seal that off. And that's what this is. It's a sealant and it can stop most of the water. So I go along with all the gaps. It's a little bit like great stuff, only it's black and it's designed especially for this. And we'll seal off on the bottom, all the crack, all the way up to this height. Because I have to make sure that it can't leak out anywhere before it gets here. Here we go, that should do it. Now, in about 15 minutes or so, that'll be hard. And it's all sealed off. One of the things I like to do, because this stuff expands and it can get huge and you don't have any room to put any gravel in anymore. Sometimes after it sets up a little bit, I'll get some of this fabric. This rock pad, see that machine way down there in the woods, just idling away. That's the new guy getting moss, locally sourced moss. I'll just tuck this in here. It'll keep it from bubbling up so high and it actually helps seal it off better. Boom! Now the only thing left to do is, see all of these uh, cracks and crevices with moss. I mean, whoops, I got ahead of myself with foam. I don't like to see that ugly black foam. So here's what I do. And a lot of other places just because it looks really cool. Oh, there's some there's some good stuff. And I'll do this. Ah, so pretty. The stuff under the water isn't gonna grow, but like this stuff, that'll grow and it looks awesome. Anywhere else where I think it would look nice, help naturalize stuff like Sometimes when I have two rocks settling on top of each other like I do here, I don't like how that looks when I can see the seam of the two rocks, so I'll do this. It can actually get pretty sloppy with rock work sometimes. And then I'll take this, and we just marry those two rocks together. Behold the wedding. This is an event center. It they is. have weddings here. The wedding of one boulder, Mr. Mr. Bubbling Boulder to Mrs. Framing Boulder. Look at that, now you can't even tell that they're two different rocks. If you're bad at building waterfalls, just learn how to get good at foaming and mossing and you'll still look good. <laughs> Wisdom of the day. Ben's been doing it for years. Hey, but I'm good. I'm good at building waterfalls. <laughs> so I don't even need foam moss, I just do it because it looks really awesome. And I don't want Teach to feel bad. Uh-huh. Alrighty folks, it's a wrap. We uh, worked really hard and we got this thing running. All the foaming and the mossing and the aquatic plants, we spread river gravel on there. Such a beautiful little corner. And what are we building it for? Check this out in here. This is the big event center I was talking about. It's called The Barn on Pennington Road. Check it out, uh, weddings, receptions, you name it. What cooler thing could you put in the front of this building than a bubbling rock? And I think, look, if you come over here, just look at that big old chandelier. It's gorgeous in here. Check this out. It's gorgeous in here. This is what I want to show you. When I was building, I wanted to see that from this window. How cool is that? I think this ball door opens. And you can come out here, out on the deck. Check that out. But yeah, thanks for following along. Um, we're releasing videos every Saturday of new exciting builds that we do. Some of them are just us doing a cool project in someone's backyard. A lot of videos I'll uh, use the opportunity to teach you how to build it. If it's the right kind of project and it's small and it's something I think a homeowner can do, uh, we do a lot of how-to videos. And then other ones are just showcase, showcasing uh, some of our cool features that we've, that we've put out. So thanks for following along and uh, we'll see you in the next one.